hits my 5 and 35, um, day 3. Um, I say good morning, but technically it's actually 1.15. So you can see how lazy and slow my day has been. <laughs> um, weekends, it's a Saturday. I normally take super slow. Um, I mean, I've worked all week, so my legs are kind of swollen. And so, you know, kicking up and taking it easy kind of helps bat that back down before Monday hits. Um, I normally start my day off with a cup of coffee. Um, I gave up caffeinated coffee, milk, and sugar when I was trying to get pregnant. Um, all because they might contribute to infertility. But since the pregnancy started, I do indulge on the weekends and have one cup every morning. And it's more of a soothing meditative cup of coffee. I don't drink it for the caffeine or for, you know, the energy it by any means. Um, but yeah, my day's been really slow. Normally on the weekends, I pull out the baby Doppler and I get the baby's heart rate. Um, and I take my own blood pressure. And I only do that once a week just to make sure everything is progressing the way it should. Um, I usually watch the news, try to get catched up, caught up on my DVR. Um, just kind of cuddle with the dog. Anyway, we're having a very lazy morning, and I realized, oh my gosh, I have too many books just like laying on the floor <laughs> by my bed, and I really need to get like a shelf. We were laughing the other night, and I told Jeremy, I was like, we need to buy a house so that we can get more bookshelves because I have entirely too many books. But I kind of want to show you all the things I was reading <laughs> since they're all around. Um, so let's get into that. Um, so. Before I actually got pregnant, um, I was having infertility, so I was eating a lot of PCOS um, diet-themed uh, things. So I have this master book that kind of explains, you know, <laughs> how I am supposed to be eating um, with my condition. And then I also really like this book. It's Mediterranean um, anti-inflammatory based cuisine, and um, the it's an elimination diet if you choose to do it. So I gave up a whole bunch of stuff and then slowly added them back in just to make sure I wasn't intolerant of any ingredients. Um, with PCOS, they usually recommend you give up gluten, dairy, sugar, soy, caffeine. I like to laugh and say you just got to give up everything good in life. <laughs> the one thing they say you don't have to cut is butter, which I do appreciate. Um, I also was reading this book called Designing Your Life. Um, it's supposed to help you put into perspective what you want to focus on. Um, I haven't gone all the way through it yet, but I was working toward de-stressing my life, which is another thing that exacerbates PCOS. I've been really enjoying Brian Brown's Dare to Lead. I wonder how close to finishing I am. I don't even know where my bookmark is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm almost done. Ugh. I was slowly reading that while I was working from home. And then I haven't worked from home in over a month, so I need to just start reading it on my own time instead of on the clock. <laughs> um, these are all the pregnancy books that are uh, the physical copies I have. I also have my e-reader, which is also covering some other books. Um, I got these two for my birthday, so I haven't started them yet. I'm mostly working through this one. But I also feel like I really need to read this one before um, October when I go into labor. I feel like, you know, knowing how to navigate your emotions when you're so full of hormones would be very beneficial. Right now I'm a pretty happy pregnant person, but you know, just in case. Um, <laughs> this was also a birthday present. Um, Jeremy got me for the baby. Um, it's a book <laughs> called Don't Eat Me Chupacabra. We mostly got it as a joke. We call our dog a chupacabra. <laughs> but um, it's cute. It has like Spanish phrases in it, which, you know, we want to raise the baby um, with all kinds of fun diversity in his life. And I'm really bad at Spanish. I took it for five years in high school and middle school. But um, it's at least a little familiar. I was practicing reading it out loud to the dog today, which was nice. And the book's beautiful and kind of cute. Talks about how he wants to eat a goat and they offer him all these different um, <laughs> options. And he only wants to eat the goats. The goat takes him home to his grandma. And they make little fruit animals out of plantains. <laughs> anyway, I enjoyed it. And then also this morning, I was reading X-Men comics. Since they rebooted the universe, I've been into it. Um, I've been enjoying the Marauders a lot. 
and New Mutants. I'd say Excalibur, eh, it's a little hit or miss. I'm slowly getting into it, but Jeremy gets all of them, so I just read what he shows me. And my Switch is here because I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. Anyway, I hit my five, so you guys have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye.